Hi you guys, it's Rella Max. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I got something for you. The 2024 Porsche Macan 4 Electric. Now this one is even bigger and bolder than the previous model and it looks incredibly gorgeous and it is full electric. So let's do a deep dive into it and check it out. All right guys, here it is. This is the brand new 2024 Porsche Macan 4 Electric. This car looks incredibly gorgeous. It has been completely redesigned from the previous model and looking at this car, I don't think there's anything moved from the previous car into this one everything has been completely redesigned especially the front of the car take a look at this now if you go over to the front now the main feature in this brand new 2024 porsche macan for electric is that they've separated the lights so on the top here it's got the daytime running lights which is four up here which looks incredibly gorgeous very very nice design and if you go down to the bottom it's got the led matrix headlights which looks incredibly gorgeous as well and i like how it's been separated as well if you look at most cars right now actually they come like this most of the cars most of the lights are separated from the daytime running lights all the way to the actual headlights and this one is no exception and since this is a full electric there's no huge front intake in this car if you go down to the bottom it's got this adaptive shutters down here which also opens up to cool the batteries over to the center it's got the radar for the adaptive cruise control over the top it's got the front facing camera and parking sensors throughout the whole front of the car over to the bottom it's got this huge front splitter which is completely redesigned from the previous model so for the color of this car this is a volcanic gray metallic paint which looks incredibly gorgeous in the sunlight looking at the side of this macan electric it looks even bigger and bolder and also very very aggressive much nicer than the previous model and if you go over to the wheel this one comes with 21 inch wheel and also for the size is 255 r21s so pretty wide tire for this car and also love how the wheels are and also in the middle section has got the porsche logo right into it huge brake calipers as well and if you go over to the side here it's got the electric designation in it so that tells you this is a full electric over to the mirror cap it is body painted and you can have this in different color or carbon fiber turn signal integrated into it and camera for the 360 view and for this one here it doesn't come with flush door handle it comes with a regular door handle and also you can open the door by just putting your hand in there and if you go down to this bottom section now this design here you can have this in black or you can have that in carbon fiber as well so it has a lot of options you can choose for the design of this car and another thing i want to point out is now this one here is a full electric now how to open this you can just press it and that opens up this section here is the dc charging which is the fast charging on the other side it will have the ac charging which will go over to that section but this is the fast charging portion so you just pull this part down and you can plug it in back wheels again 21 inch but this one here is much wider which is 295s 21s so pretty wide track for this one very balanced car now let's take a look at the whole back of this take a look at this now like how first i want to point out is the tail light it is all smoked out take a look at this really gorgeous i'll turn it on so you can take a look at it over to the center has got the porsche which looks really nice and down here has got the camera and i don't know if you remember the previous macan to open the trunk it had a button on the windshield wiper this one doesn't so it is being brought down here so really really gorgeous and if you look at the bottom section here this kind of has like the diffuser effect but really gorgeous no exhaust obviously full electric and this one comes with the tow hitch so let's go ahead and open the trunk so again you press this and that opens up so it's pretty wide huge opening so for this one here also you could put the seats down by pulling these levers here so that's for the left side and for the right side so you just pull this and the whole seat falls off and gives you much bigger space for the trunk obviously it's got the carpets here and the charger for this one so take a look at that it's got a charger for this one so really nice and obviously it is not a very big space but if you pull this i can't pull this down it's got the bose subwoofer down there so which kind of makes the trunk a little smaller but that gives you the subwoofer down there and another thing is this car is very practical and also you could use use this as everyday driving so if you want to load things in this trunk it has this uh, adaptive suspension and air suspension actually which you could push these buttons here so this is to put bring the car down so once you press this the suspension goes down so it makes it easier for you to load items into it and also it's got this metallic 
part here, which you don't have to scratch the bottom section of your car. And also, like I mentioned earlier, this is the AC charging section. So once you do, once you press that, this one comes out and you can charge it. And another feature this one comes with actually, since there is no engine in the front, what you could do is with the keys, take a look at the keys here. Nice redesigned key actually. So you could pop the front with this button here, or another trick is you just swipe your hand and that opens up. What a cool trick for this one. <laughs> so over the front, obviously not a lot of space down here. It is pretty, it's decent. You could put some grocery bags in it, a little section here to put some things to kind of stay, stay uh, steady. And on this left side here, it's got the fluid, washer wipe, uh, windshield wiper fluid. So not a lot of space, but also practical. So let's go ahead and close this. Speaking of the power, this one has 300 kilowatts battery and has launch control, which produces 402 horsepower and 497 pound-feet of torque with 0 to 60 miles an hour in 4.9 seconds and a top speed of 137 miles an hour. Now, fully charged, it'll take you up to 308 miles. Obviously, it depends on how much you drive this car. If you have this car in sports all the time, obviously, you won't get there. But if you drive it conservatively, obviously, it'll take you probably close to that range actually. Speaking of the charging, on the left side here, it's got the AC charging port, which will take you up to 11 and a half hours to charge it to full. And on the left side, it's got the DC charging, which will take you about 33 minutes to charge it from 10 to 80%, which is pretty impressive. All right guys, so take a look at the interior of this car. It looks incredibly gorgeous. I really love this bronze accent, which is on the side here and throughout the whole front section of the car. And also the ambient lighting is tucked right in there as well. I don't know if you can see it, but it is really, really gorgeous. And take a look at the digital screen here. Now this one here is a 12.6 inches digital screen. Looks incredibly gorgeous. And then the middle section has got the 10.9. And this one has the passenger screen as well. So once you type it, you can see that. It's got the same functionality as this one here. And on this section, it's got the drive mode. So right now, it wasn't normal. So you go to sport, normal and off-road and if you notice if you go through the driving modes the ambient lighting changes so right now we are in off-road so once you just move this to normal see that that changes and also sports mode that changes as well so very very much adaptive and interactive as well now going into the infotainment system take a look at this obviously it's got different apps and car control so it's got a navigation obviously this these main keys here are in this section here on this section here so navigation so once you go through that really really sharp and also it's very fast so we'll go back to that and media phone integration which comes with apple carplay and android auto over to the bottom section again it's got the air vent and also it has a warning if you go down much lower it's got the charging pad down there you could close it or keep it open if you want to so once you put your phone in there your phone stays down there it doesn't move at all lower is the temperature controls now this is really nice piano black and once you press this you can see the whole pad actually moves and to your temperature this feels metallic I like how they keep the actual button for this car it feels very metallic and nice down at the bottom here it's got the cup holders and also the ambient lighting in there huge storage down here and on the center, it's got the storage section down here as well. So pretty deep. Since it's all electric, you can see that it's pretty deep down there. And let's go over to the passenger screen. Take a look at this. Now, once you press this, obviously, you can control the navigation as well. And also pretty fast. Same controls as, as the driver can. But the first... But the, main thing here is if you put this in drive take a look at this so this is my city position if you put this in drive you cannot see that so that'll help with safety actually once you're driving but once you put this on park that turns back on and, and, the, and the driver can see it all right fellas now driving the brand new 2024 porsche macan 4 electric again no internal combustion in this thing it sounds incredibly nice. I have the electric sports sound on, so you should, I'm sure you should hear how this thing sounds like in the electric. So, first impression, 
I gotta say, this car comes with the adaptive air suspension, so it is very smooth on the road. It is very smooth on the road and very, very balanced. I'm in a sports mode right now, and oh, 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 you can hear that electric sound in there. Nice. And the brakes, very, very sharp and impeccable as well. So we'll go over to this section here. We got a lot of road construction here. But overall, my first impression is this car is very, very balanced and it is very smooth with adaptive suspension. You don't feel the car moving at all. Even going side by side, it is still very balanced. Wow, this thing is pretty fast. Again, 4.9 seconds, 0 to 60. It drives really smooth. I mean, it puts you back in your seat. Obviously, this is not a turbo, which will be even more faster, which has 630 horsepower. This one here still, still is pretty fast and also very, very comfortable. I love these seats because it keeps you right in your, in your position with the side bolsters, which if you're going around corners, you're not moving around in the seat. This keeps you very balanced. And the braking system again, <laughs> very, very sharp. Now, being the sports mode, that was really, really fun. We'll switch this to normal and really see how this car really drives on a normal road. It is very, very balanced. And I, I gotta tell you, even if you put your feet down, oh, it still goes. It still goes. Man, you cannot compare this to the internal combustion, obviously. It is very, very fast. We'll slow down here. And once you put your feet down, Oh my God, I, that feels even faster than putting this in sports and that is really strange. <laughs> so let's put this back in sports and now you can hear the sound again, the sports sound, come on. And we'll slow down here and just fall. Oh, that's better actually. <laughs> Forget what I said, that's better. <laughs> All right guys, so this is Zoe and she'll explain in depth on a few new updates in this car. Absolutely. So with the new Macan EV, it comes with a fully new updated screen software system. A couple of fun things right off the bat, you are able to fully customize your theme in your ride. Over 39 new colors versus the previous uh, combustion motor Macan makes it very fun to customize the vibe you want your interior cabin to be in. And you can also pair your themes with the ambient lighting throughout the whole cabin, which is also new to the Macan EV. A couple of other fun things to note, new in the Macan EV, the Apple CarPlay is now integrated into your dashboard and your heads up display, giving you more of a coherent look all the way around, also pairs with your phone, make sure all of your settings, navigation, contacts, call history, all of that stuff will be integrated throughout the car versus just in your center screen. Additionally, in your screen navigation, the Porsche electric vehicles have a range bubble. So you as the driver know how far you can go in any direction with the current state of charge that you have in your vehicle at the time. Also on road trips, if you are new to jumping into the electric lifestyle, you can pre-program the minimum charge you want at your destination. Let's say you want to get to your cabin with no more than 50% of the charge left in your car. So the car will then route you and stop you at the planner at the charging stations that will get you to your destination with your desired state of charge, which is pretty awesome. Easy to work with, awesome to manage. Same with your charging graph. You can, when you plug in your vehicle at night, you can set your target charge to be whatever you want your vehicle to be at when you wake up in the morning. The most optimized um, is up to 85%. You can go to 10 to 85% in roughly 21 minutes, which is phenomenal at those level three charging stations. You can also then set up your Macan to pair with your work schedule. If you leave the car at 7.30 every morning, you can make sure the car is preconditioned by the time you take off every day. Same with, you can turn on, you can pre-cool or preheat your battery when you simply unlock your vehicle, which is all awesome to work with. All right guys, so that should help with the range anxiety. This shows you completely how far you can go with the current charge that you have and also it will show you charging, charging stations wherever you're going. So that range anxiety will be eliminated, completely eliminated and also full charge with this car goes over 300 miles per day and I'm sure you don't go over 300 miles per day. And even if you do, 
this charges with the DC charging from 10% to 80% in just about 33 minutes. So it's really fast. So that's about the same time you're going into a store, buying whatever you're buying and coming back out. It is charged up to 80%. All right guys, so big shout out to Porsche of St. Paul for allowing me to do a test, a test drive on this car and show you guys what this car brings and the power and the features in this car. So big shout out to Porsche of St. Paul. And if you're in the market for a Porsche, I'll put your description and your website down below so you can go and take a look, take a look at this, take a look at it, and they are very, very helpful. Thanks you guys for watching my video. I really want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and press that like and subscribe to help my channel grow. And also, I'll be able to bring out more cars for you guys. So once again, I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Press that like and subscribe. Press that like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.